unlucky lad, unlucky son. Today's match vlog is dedicated to the memory of Nicky Allen, a Sunderland schoolgirl who passed away 30 years ago and the family finally got justice after all this time because of the love and dedication of our mother. Rest in peace, Nicky Allen. Right, I'm with the shirt winner. He's actually come to pick it up. Uh, Dale. Dale, mate. Massive game today. What do you reckon the score's going to be? You know, I, do you think it'll score? I think 1-1. One, one. The past four times we've played, then it's been 1-1. One, one. Aye. Um, who's going to score? I'm just going to put... Could be anyone. I could. Um, Jack Clark, I think. Jack Clark. He's, aye. He's number one. Like, wait, is he our number one? Or is it Diallo? Diallo, then Clark. Diallo. But... Um, um, Shots on target is a good one for Clark. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, nice one. For, cheers for coming to pick it up, mate. Appreciate it. <laughs> right, it's match day. That's a Sunderland versus Luton. Nice sunny day. Luton have got some dangerous players that can hurt teams. They want to probably do better than they did last season in the playoffs. They've got Morris, the leading top goal scorer at a bio. Who's got seven goals. But is that going to be enough for Sunderland's trio? Ahmad, Roberts and Clark. Right, here we are. This is it. Semi-final, first leg at home versus Luton Town. Me and the boys on our way to the original fans on the Colliery Tavern. Going to meet Paul there. From what I can see, the Sunderland fans have been out on the drink since about dinner time, some earlier. The atmosphere hopefully will be bouncing. I can't wait for it, me. I'm dead. Well, I'm not going to say I'm nervous because I'm not bothered either way, but I would love it if we could do it. Good performance. Get behind the lads. It's going to be a mint. How are you? Niall, what's your score prediction? 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, same as what I'm going for. But look, any win or any draw, I'll be happy with. Proud of the lads this season. Let's see how it turns out. How are the lads? How are the lads? It's lad, how we falling in love. <laughs> Just got to see to get in a pub. Do, do. It won't be true. Right, here we are, outside the original fan zone, the Colliery Tavern. We would have done a bit more, but however, this fucking little fairy's only just turned up because he couldn't get parked. No. Anyway, <laughs> let's get started. Luton Town at home, first leg of the semi-finals. We line up like this. We've got Patterson in goal, we've got Hume, O'Neill, Gooch, <laughs> Roberts, Neil, Equa, Clark, Ahmad, Pritchard and Gellhart. And on the bench we've got Bass, Lahaji, Barr, Anderson, Michu, Taylor and Huggins. Okay. Huggins makes an appearance before the season's finished. I'm happy with that, he's gone very attacking. He's got Ahmad, Pritchard, <laughs> Roberts and Clark. Let's see what's going to happen, shall we? Paul, you got to see I need a pint. I need a pint. You should have said the first thing you've come out of your mouth have been sorry for being late. I've left me cans and I need a pint. Outside the colour, the atmosphere is absolutely buzzing. Come on, the sun! Yeah, we can't see the absolute, it's absolutely buzzing. <laughs> it really is. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get around and speak to a few fans. Oh, the lads. Right, here we are, outside with James. James, are you looking forward to the master today? Oh, absolutely fantastic. The atmosphere is buzzing, everyone's happy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think the half hour kickoff works in our favour for the fans because they've been on the drink all day. Have you? Oh, no, I, I don't drink, you see. I only drink lemonade and hot chocolate, so, you know, I'm a very respectful man, you know. OK, mate. 3-1 Sunderland. You said 3-1 today, and yeah, what do you think the score's going to be on Tuesday? 2-0. Do you two think we're going to do it? Yeah, of course we are. We are Sunderland. Why, why shouldn't we? we we, we've got no, got no fear of anyone. It's been a fantastic season. We've made the playoffs. We're going to go to the final and we're going to win it. Shout out to Motor Home Happiness. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If you could give us a like and subscribe, that'd be great. How are the sun lit? Come on! Right, here we are with little Kane. Well, I shouldn't say little Kane because he's dressed as always ready for a fucking fight. <laughs> Kane, are you looking forward to the game today? Of course. Of course. What do you reckon the score's going to be? 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Who's going to get the score sheet? Um, Pat Roberts and Jack Clark. Jack Clark. Do you reckon the atmosphere's going to be buzzing in there? Of Are you going to be fighting the Luton fans after the game? Probably. <laughs> Hard as nails, are we the lads? Harlem. Oh. Boom. Oh. Hi. You know who's in the game? Hi, Joe. 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 Nerves are kicking right in. Number 
John and Diallo Elward. Good now, man on, out. One clock. Now, Sullivan 2 1. Another free kick for Sullivan. Hey, another goal. We've taken a quick and over it. But we're on 77 minutes now. And it's 2 1 Sullivan. And wow, what a fucking performance. It's getting looted and terrified of us. Our forward players are doing what we've done all season. They've just took the piss, created things that they're looting on. They're not expecting. And we're 2 1 up. And wow, honestly, just fucking wow. <laughs> Robert's coming off. Stephen, I've never doubted these lads. I always said they would get the top six. The first leg, we've just won 2 1. Our away form is much better. I would just like to add quickly before you talk for an hour. Pierre Equa, 
What a fucking player. Fourth game what in a row. Player. Fourth game in a row for me, Pierre Guam, man of the match. What a find he is. What a fucking find he is. It's after his first appearance, loads of cinema has doubted him. Last four games, he's been absolutely phenomenal. And I'm out of the moon. I've only got a McKenna in the final whistle. I do realise there's another leg to go yet. I know, I know. But we're 2 1 up in our away form's mint. I hate to say this, but it's in our hands. Oh, it's in our hands. You it's shouldn't have said it. It's in our hands. Listen, regardless of what happens down there, we're, in the, we're ahead. We're in the fucking lead. We deserve it. Our players have fucking fought for their lives on all, all season long. And uh, every single one of them are fucking love you. Roy on, second leg, then. Kia Sarah, I'm off to Wembley. Come on!